Welcome back, friends. Our next guest, Sean Boykin, is the lead trainer at Lifetime Castle Creek, and he's here to teach us about sprint interval training, or SIT, and the benefits of adding it into our fitness routine. Sean, welcome to the Hi, show. Sean. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. Happy to be here. Yeah, yeah man, absolutely. This is so exciting because we were saying so many people hear about HIT training, mm -hmm. high intensity interval training. Of course. But we haven't heard about SIT training. Yeah. What's this all about? Yeah, so SIT training is sprint interval training, and it's a great, great thing you can implement in your workout and it's really a hundred percent effort that you can do with a treadmill you could do it a rowing machine you can even do it with body weight so we okay. have a lot of people at lifetime that use treadmills this is one of a great exercise that you could do on that treadmill okay, okay. so are you going to show us a couple moves that we could do yeah i can show you something you can do even with your body weight so what All we're right. going to do is we're going to do lunges we're going to do about 10 seconds we're going to keep it going okay. great we're not going to break in between and we're going to keep a good form right here so okay. we're going to go right here and we're going to do a forward lunge and we're going to go here yeah and step back awesome and we're going to go right to the next one. alternating awesome legs. yeah and we're going to Make sure yeah. we're gonna keep our chest up. Chest up. Awesome. There we go. Back and Good. back. Oh, excellent form. Good and back. <laughs> and we're gonna go about another three seconds. Yeah. And two. Oh, that'll get the blood and moving. And one. Sean, those and are rest. Those quads are uh, pretty outstanding. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like textbook quads. Look at those things. <laughs> well, nice you watch. can you can thank it all to the new equipment that we just got at Lifetime <laughs> okay. in Castle yeah. Creek. So um, we've got a whole bunch of new equipment happening right now. That's new great. renovations, new floors. So a lot of great things happening in Lifetime in Castle Creek. So highly encourage you to step out sometime soon with some of that great equipment and the great trainers that we have That's there great. as well. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so we just did some squats. Mm -hmm. So what would you say is the main thing that differentiates this from high intensity interval training? Great question. So with high High intensity interval training, it's going to be something where the, the rest time is going to be a little more brief. Where yeah. sprint interval training, it's 100% effort, and the rest time is about two to three minutes. Oh, okay. So if we're on a oh, treadmill, right, okay. we have a lot of treadmill warriors. People don't want to get away from those treadmills, yeah, right? So yeah. if you're on the treadmill, take off for about 20, 30 seconds, yeah. rest about two, three minutes, kind of rest for a little bit, yeah. hop back on. Great okay. way to get that heart rate going, huh. get that metabolism burned. And it's a great exercise as well. Yeah, how many like rounds of that would you recommend? Of course, it's probably based on everybody's ability, but, yeah, but yeah. what would you recommend? Great, and I'm glad that you mentioned that as well. This is a little more of advanced technique, so okay. it's not always gonna be great for beginners, but yeah. it is something that you can work up towards. So yeah. I would recommend about four to five rounds throughout a workout. It would be nice. great to get a great workout in, get the sweat, sure. and get that heart rate up for yeah. sure. That's awesome. And I'd imagine it helps you save time a lot of times 100%. because you're ramping it up, you're bringing the heart rate back down, and then you don't have to work out for a long period. Of time. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so sometimes we just want to get on that treadmill and we're there 20, 30, 40 minutes at a time and yeah. we're not really getting the best out of our efficiency. So this is a great way to be efficient with your time and maximize your workout. Yeah. So it's not necessarily better than HIIT training. It's just different it's based it's on different, what you're trying yeah. to do with your fitness goals and the time you might have. 100%. Okay. I believe it has the same same benefits as well. I think with exercise, there's so many different things. There's not a one size fits all. Sure. That's the beauty behind fitness and I think this will be a great yeah. thing you can implement your exercise. I think awesome. that's good news for everybody at yeah. home. You showed us someone is, is there one more move that you yeah. can show us that people at home right now could maybe do? They're getting up off their yeah. chair. They're like, yeah, I'm going to get yeah, the They're fired up right now. Yeah, so yeah, I'm, yeah. They're so fired up. They're going to do jump squats. That's oh. what they're going to jump into. Oh, okay. They're going to okay. jump right into some jump squats. Okay. So what All we're right. going to do is we're going to go here and we're going to sink down and we're going to jump up. Down and up. <laughs> down I'm like holding and up. Yep. <laughs> so we're going to keep going. And we're gonna just get it all the way. Let's get about three more. Right, look at that range. Two. There you go. I was trying to keep up with Sean. That's all I'm doing. And there you go. We're gonna That's stop fun. there. So getting that heart rate up, yeah. I would hit that, and then I would rest for about yeah. one to two minutes, and I'm gonna hop right back into so it. So rest, get right just back get right back into it. it. Get that heart rate going. Yeah. Get that feel good yeah. feeling. It's yeah. great. Thank you. No, thank Thanks you. for getting our awesome. blood moving. Were you jumping? <laughs> Were you indeed? I was jumping, but I was kind of holding the dress. Everything together. Yeah. Together. This is normal fitness attire <laughs> when you're at the gym. Sean, thank you. You can do it in a dress. And heels, you know, you can do can it do anywhere. It, so. There's no excuse. Everybody yeah. can be fit. Just take a little go. bit of time. At lifetime.life so on Facebook and Instagram. Sean, thanks, man. Thank you. Coming up next, registered dietitian Caitlin Wong will teach us about the health benefits of getting more apples into our diet as the seasons change. And she's got three easy recipes you can try at home. That's right. And the owner of Maine and Madison in Franklin is here to give us a taste of what you can find at tomorrow's Biz Bash Expo. Coming up downtown in Franklin. We'll be right back. Yay.